There you go, you should be able to hear me now. My, um, OBS is using the wrong, um... Audio here. So, yeah. Okay. You're still hearing the wrong one. That one. There you go. Now you can hear it. I, uh, uh changed the um, arrangement of my cables so that might be why um, yes we are out of biomass I realize that but we are ready we have the rotors we're gonna dump them in this assembler we're going to shut down this assembler just in case and this assembler is going to make us our smart plating. Two parts per minute. That's 30 seconds of peace. But we should see. I found out how to crouch, by the way. It's uh, pressing the letter C. Okay. So we're making it. It's just taking a sweet time. We're gonna take these power cells out and move them over here for now because I know that we can. So yeah, that will, once that completes the one it's on, it'll update and will make four per minute. So that's one every 15 seconds. Use a lot more power, but that is okay because we have the two generators, or burners on it, so. And there we go, all right. We are loading smart plating into the space elevator. This is how we're gonna start off this episode, by unlocking tier three and four. Um, so yeah, I'm happy that we finally got all of the pieces we needed to get things ready. Um, while that's building it, we're gonna go get some more wood and stuff for biomass, cause we're out again. But, that's why we're going to tier 3, is cause there's coal. I mean, we're still gonna need to get biomass for now to power what we have, uh, in order to get coal a lot, but... We should be able to get there pretty soon. So we'll be pretty good. We're just gonna grab a decent, I mean, we're gonna grab a decent amount of wood. I don't wanna grab like nothing, but I also don't wanna grab a whole lot. But this will hopefully by the time we get back to the base, to the hub. Um, Okay, I'm not messing with you. Take those though. Yeah, I don't. With just the Xeno Basher, I don't feel comfortable doing that. We have. Ooh, Caterium. We need to pick some of this up. That'll give us a new research tree. developed based on this new superconductive gold like element, primarily in power and electronics. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. Not ready for you, bud. This one, eat these. We need to see if we can't get like armor or something. That would be great if we could arm ourselves. Well, I mean, not arm ourselves, but, like, um, protect our person from extra damage. But you do notice it says fix-it property damage, which means we are fix-it property. 
So. There might be something uh, interesting with that. Maybe there will be a way in the future to, uh, like, escape, fix it or something. That would be cool. Um. It's, like, as y'all know, we're still in early access, so. But yeah, we need to pick up that criterion there. Because that will give us extra research tree that will allow us to get to the smart splitter. And the smart splitter is amazing. It allows us to split. So just like a regular splitter, you can split a conveyor belt into three sections. But the smart splitter allows us to split it and choose which items go which direction. Where am I? Space elevator. Storage units. Here we are. Okay. I was confused for a second there. Um, but yeah, so that'll be definitely helpful, especially when we get to like tractors and stuff. Transporting things over distances. Okay. Um, right in here. The ma'am. Caterium. Oh, we need more of it. What? Oh, we can't scan for it either. At least we know there's some over here, though. That's definitely helpful to know. Especially with it right here. In fact, we might... That's iron. What? Where'd the Caterium go? Is it further down? Yeah. That's gotta be Caterium. Yeah. Alright, we're just gonna pick up this whole area, this whole vein. I'm wondering if we tried to put a miner. Yeah, so that's not a vein that we can mine from, it's just a deposit. So that's okay, because all we're using it for is research, but um, we definitely need to find a... Well, we might need to find a vein of that eventually. As of right now, it's not a big deal, but... But we can scan, so that'll be helpful. Okay, now we need to make our. Um, we're gonna put it over here, actually. Caterium. You. Store y'all in there. Please, we need back the wood. Um, actually, we can research stuff off of flower petals, too, but right now it doesn't matter. Okay, cool. Biomass. <coughs> need a few stacks to power all of our stuff so three stacks we got five generators in the back so hopefully we well we should be able to get another couple stacks off of this Doesn't look like we're gonna get another full stack, but it's okay for now. Don't nope, need to keep that, but that can go in there, this can go in there, and that can go in there. Okay. Let's go load up our generators. You're the one that ran out. Four? Am 
my bad, I thought we were running on five. Oh well. Okay, now. How's our little assembler doing? Halfway there. Yes, please. Halfway. Oh, over halfway. I thought we were only doing 30, but it's 50, so yeah. We we're plenty over halfway. Alright, I'm excited. This thing is really cool to watch, too, so. <coughs> Alright, alright, alright. Let's see, uh, what can we research with flower petals again? Oh, just the color cartridges. Well, you know, we have no other use for flower petals right now, so we may as well just toss it in there. And then I guess that allows us to paint stuff. Oh, well, okay. I guess we're putting screws in there, too. We have so many resources, I mean, may as well, right? So five minutes for that. That's okay. Come on now. No, oh, no, 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 no. Caterium, please. That way. 578 meters. Okay, so we know there's some Caterium over there. So that's nice to know. All right, we've got owner some way over there too. How many meters that way? 1,746. Okay, so 15 times eight. Not sure. <coughs> Not off the top of my head. <laughs> well, let's see. 90 is that is times six so yeah 105 105 seconds we got a minute and a half to wait on that to be done and then we can package it off and send it to fix it who's up in orbit i guess because that's how space elevators work um and yeah get two three and four this has three and a half minutes, so yeah. Oh, we can slide? That is so cool. <laughs> New mode of transportation right there. And we go for a decent amount, too. All right, I gotta try it. I gotta try it. <laughs> That's great. Do we pick up speed going down this? I think we do. That's just awesome. I love that, that we can slide. <laughs> oh, it's done. Alright, guys. Last piece going in. Are y'all ready to see something amazing? So it doesn't... We can't do anything. We have to look here can't get away from the screen while you're sealing it. Once you seal it, and send it, and check this out. It's pulling back the tension. Ooh. That's just so cool. <laughs> and off it goes. I haven't seen it come back down yet, so I might watch. We might watch and wait and see what happens when it comes back down. <clears throat> oh, is that is it coming back? Is 
it just stuck up there. Here it is. Oh, it slows down. Cool. That, that's cool. I love the space elevator. It looks so cool. Uh, when it does its stuff. When it was being built, it looked awesome. And now that it's built and it, you send stuff off through it, it looks great. Alright. Research. Ha ha ha. Tier 3 and 4. Coal power. Which we need before we can do this one. Because we want to power our vehicles with coal as opposed to something else. For sure. And the tractor and truck station. This allows us to load and unload stuff. And these can be automated. So we can expand our factory way far out. We can also get to steel production. So first things first. We need another 50 rotors. <laughs> it's going to take forever. But that's okay. We can take these back out load them into our good old assembler over here. Why are we out of power? Or... Oh, it's on standby, that's why. Yeah, that would, that would definitely explain it, wouldn't it? Nice. So we're going to make some more rotors. <coughs> 50 of them to be exact. And, um, oh, iron's full. Iron plates are full. Alright, I was afraid we were going to fill up some of these eventually. Iron rods are getting there, too. Unfortunately, I built that one too close to the hub to do anything with. This one I can expand. This one was not... That one's not... Cables are going to get there. That one's not, that one's not, of course that one's empty because it's rotors. Okay, so we'll expand the iron um, piece here by sticking another storage container directly on top of it, facing that way, and putting a lift there. Now you see it starts unloading it into the upper container. Yeah, unloading it into the upper container, <clears throat> allowing more space for the new pieces to come inside. Eventually this container will fill up and we'll have to add another one on top of it, but that's the way we can continue expanding our storage um, up and up and up and up. And um, so yeah. If we can get a lift in there, which we can't, it was close, but that would be where we could go next with it. We could move the hub, theoretically, um, but we'd need a lot of, it'd take a lot of work. I don't want to move our storage container, though, because we've got it so nice and laid out, but, you know, I don't know. But yeah, um, so we've got more space for that. Okay, rotors. There's one being made now. We've got five of them. That one's about to go in. So we're making one every seven and a half seconds. Well, we would be if the screws were filling up quick enough. So we're making... It gets done every seven and a half seconds, but it has to... The screws have to fill up. Sorry, my mouse just quit working for a second. So yeah, so once the screws fill up, it makes it in seven and a half seconds. But it takes it a while, because... And it's not the assembler's fault. You see, the conveyor belt is still completely filled with screws. It's just the conveyor belt doesn't have the speed to transfer 25 of them in there in, like, immediately, you know? By the time this thing is done, it's only got about eight or nine more than what it was originally had, you know. 
So what I'm gonna do, try and help speed that up, is dump this half a stack of screws in there that we have in our inventory. And that way, it, yes, it will eventually run low, but for now it'll constantly make rotors. So I'm okay with that. After 10 of them, it'll be kind of out. But it's okay. I also just just realized that these have ladders on the side of them. Can't believe I'm blind. But anyway. <laughs> Alright. I like how you can just, like, jump across all the buildings in the place, you know? Except for that thing, because the pod you can't touch. It's invisible. Well, no, it's not, but... This platform is... They don't want you getting up there, I don't think. <laughs> so yeah, um, I might need to get replaced the batteries in my mouse real quick, but for now we'll be okay. But yeah, uh, the big thing right now, because we're kind of stuck, right? Okay, we can complete that. New equipment unlocked. Toss some flower petals in there. Since this takes three seconds. three of the other. How many of the uh, organs do we have? Two and three of the carapaces. Okay. Of course we're not using biomass from them right now anyway. If we go get, we could go get the barrel nuts and stuff eventually, but I also kind of want to eat those. <laughs> if we research that, what it'll give us. Hmm. I have to research all three of those foods in order to get it. No more brown nuts there. <coughs> you may be wondering what I'm doing just while we're waiting on the rotors. Because we can't really do much, right? We don't need to make any more factories right now. <coughs> until we get coal. Yeah, it was stupid. die. Um, the whole reason I came out here was f to look for the food specimens to research them, but I might end up needing to eat them instead. Oh, there's just driftwood? Oh my goodness. Who ever... Should have told me that before. Or just wood on the ground that I can pick up. Well, we have enough to... Um, research so what we might do is go put our stuff in the chest and respawn and see what that does I don't know what the respawn function does Ooh, and the barrel nuts too only thing we're missing now is that last thing that I have no idea what it is what is this Iron? There's just another thing of iron just right here, and I never found it. 
Wow, I guess we're just blind or something. Oh, it's over here next to the copper. Yeah, we should have found this thing. Okay. We can eat. Oh, of course. I know we could eat them for health, but... Nutritional mixture. Oh, okay, so it is better food. We just need to find... Oh, we can get... It. Okay, we need to find... We're out of power. Already we're out of power. This is why I want coal. Oh, it's not that one. Is it the assembler? Yeah. Ah. We definitely need that one running because that's making the rotors. Um, and we still need 20 more of them. I guess we should have selected the milestones that we know for sure what all we're going to need, you know. Yeah, because we need coal power. We can easily get the rest of it, so... That's, in fact, that we're just going to go ahead and toss it in there. 150. Three hundred. We're gonna go ahead and toss it in there just to show that we've got it. Hundred and fifty, three hundred. And now we just need the fifty rotors and we're done so we have thirty four oh, thirty five oh. I mean we can make some ourselves just to Speed it along, yeah. May as well, right? Take half of that. And we can make ten rotors. Um, with five iron rods, which means fifty iron rods. We're going to run out of space in that one. Yeah, we'll make ten of them to speed along. And we're only waiting on a few more from the uh, assembler. screws coming in. Might be better off making the rest on our own. I kind of want the factory to make it though, just because, you know, I mean, it's the factory, right? It's special. We built it for a reason. Yeah, we've got all the materials, so it shouldn't take but a, a second, and just the screws have got to get there. Uh, oh. 
One, two, three, four. We need one more screw. There we go. Last rotor coming to the box. Right there. I think we have to use these to craft the, um, to get the truck, the tractors and stuff too, but where is it? Come on now. There it is. Yeah. Alright. I think we have to use it to not only unlock the tractors, but to craft the tractors. But for now, coal power. Launched it off. Now we need a hundred rotors for this. We also need modular frames, which we'll need a factory for. But for now, coal. Where are you at? Six hundred and fifty meters. So we're gonna have to. There's no way we're gonna have to uh, to truck it in. There's no way. Okay, the limestone factory is obviously concrete factory is obviously out of power. There is no way we're gonna be able to get that coal all the way over here. Six hundred and fifty meters on conveyor belts. I suppose we could use the power to do it, like we could just keep the coal over there and use it, and just use power lines to get over here I guess? Yeah, that wouldn't be too big. Let's do that. For now, let's go over and find this coal. Let's go over and find this coal first, and we'll take it, is this it right here? No, that's Sam or we're going to leave that because I don't know what it does yet. Um, actually, we'll grab a few pieces in case it's research. We'll grab this thing just in case it's something we can research later or something. My goodness, it's got a lot. Because there's no vein there. Oh man, we got a ways to run. So we're gonna have to start out with this with a biomass burner. Oh no, is it down here somewhere? Oh, it's over there. Oh no. I wish we could resource scan for food, that'd be great. Yeah, the coal's over there. Oh, we didn't bring any concrete with us, did we? Oh, we do. Okay, cool. That's not what I wanted to do. Could be 
slightly more resource efficient, but... Oh, no way. Not right now. <laughs> I'm almost dead. I don't want to die, so we're going to run away from them for now. Come on, come on, go, go, go. Need to eat first. Well, that's just a tree. I was like, what in the world is all that up there? Yeah. We gotta find food. Food! Thank goodness. Oh no, another, another beast that I don't want to deal with. How in the world did it follow us up here? Okay. More food. Oh, thank goodness. We need to find out how... I don't think we can farm these things, though. Like, there's no way to bring it back to the house. Um, so it's annoying, but... Okay. Food. We got three red... Or pale berries. Okay. More Caterium. Well, we needed some for the research. And of course, it's not a vein either. It's just, uh, I don't think, um, for what it seems like, there's not just veins of that stuff. Okay, no, sir. Not messing with y'all. I don't want to mess with those fire breathing things right now until I get the uh, Xeno Basher, which is kind of a sword kind of thing. It's a lot better for combat. Um, well, I don't know. I think that might be further along. We might not be able to get it right now. Um, I sure hope it's in like tier four because that would be so much, so helpful. Because I don't want to die, you know. We've lived this whole time without dying, so... <laughs> okay, let's, um, dump this Caterium. We don't have enough. Oh, well, uh... Sam or strange alien metal that glistens with new possibilities. Well, I don't know what Sam can be turned into, but, you know, whatever. Got plenty of that, I guess. Okay, um, so yeah, we're gonna need something, uh, what? Oh, a pod just got back. Improved melee combat. That one comes first. We can do this one pretty quick, actually. Um, so we need... Reinforced iron plates. We need 50 of those. We need 1500 wire, which is easy. And 200 cable, which is also easy. The only thing that's going to take a little bit of time, I think, is the rotors. Because we need 15 more. Which part of it ran out? Not that one. The main factory did. Of course. This is why we need coal power. Because everything just ran out of power. Assembler will still make rotors, but it doesn't have, because it's on a separate power grid, but it just ran out of resources coming into it. So we're going to have to make the rotors ourselves to get improved melee combat. Once we get this improved melee combat, we can go and build our coal power gen and uh, get started with that easy. Okay. So... 
How many do we have? How many do we need? We have 11. We need 14. Which means we need... That'll get us 10. So that'll get us 5. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. We have enough of those. Alright, we'll just grab more iron rods. Okay. Should be able to make 14 rotors. Yeah. So we're going to make this, get our improved melee combat, get our Xeno Basher in hand, and then we're going to go defeat those fire breathing demons and claim the coal for us. <clears throat> Excuse me, okay. Rotors, reinforced iron plates. And wire and cable. Launched. Improved Milestone melee combat. R&D inflated your pocket dimension, added an additional hand equipment slot, and have provided an improved Xeno Zapper with increased strength and range. She's the Xeno Basher. We should get uh, the object scanner, but right now we need oh, modular frames. Need two Xeno Zappers. I have modular frames. Okay, so they're not that bad. Three iron reinforced iron plates and twelve iron rods. Okay, so let's do that. We're gonna need two. Add the Xeno Basher to our to-do list. We're gonna need to add one Xeno Zapper to our to-do list. We're gonna need to add the object scanner too, because we can. I mean we may as well, right? Yeah. Oh, which means we need three beacons. So we're going to go ahead and make the three beacons because we can. Okay. And then we need to add the modular frames to our to-do list. Alright. So now we need... Um, screws, 50 screws, or just grab 125, um, because we can, <laughs> um, wire, we need more wire, and we'll just grab that, and reinforced iron plates, need some of those, Alright, let's go make the modular frame first. The modular frames first. One. Oh, it makes. Okay, so it makes two at a time, so we're good on that. Um, and then. We need to go make the other stuff here. Yeah. Okay. Make a Xeno Zapper. Alright, make the object scanner. And take that out of our hands. Make the Xeno Basher. Nice. Stick that in our hands along with the object scanner. I like that. Watch this. Yeah. What? Oh no. Oh 
though, so they do... This whole time... They've had the stinking... <laughs> I just haven't used it. Alright. Let's go. We're gonna find some food first, though. Inside the gas. Ooh, hey there. Oh, that's showing us back in the other spot. Oh no, we died. Thankfully. Okay, so it marks our stuff. Yeah, I, I figured we were going to lose our stuff if we died, but it marks it so we can go pick it up. <sighs> and we don't start with full health either, so. That's definitely something we got to keep an eye on now. Please tell me there's not the animal thing just sitting right next to it. That would be annoying. Wait a second. Just floating in midair. That's kind of funny. Put that there. This one here. That one there. I guess we're gonna use that first. Alright, here we go. Apparently I'm bad at fighting these guys. Just because we were close to this stinking limestone? Oh my goodness. There's got to be food on top of this ridge. Okay, well, yeah, there's some right there, but... worth it um, we need to heal up before we do anything with coal right now okay some nuts that's good barrel nuts oh there's some more please keep giving me food like this please I could really really use it oh we got those already oh, 
Oh yes. I like it. It's giving me what I asked for. I'm, I'm happy. This isn't like a hundred percent accuracy, I guess. Is that enough to get us back to full health? Oh yeah. And we got health left over. It's nice. Alright. like that other vein of coal that we had found is just going to be where we need to go. It's going to be our best bet. Raw quartz, that'll be useful. May as well grab it. This mineral shows purity levels akin to synthetic quartz manufactured on Earth and can be used to improve communication and exploration technologies. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. Glad we picked it up. So this is copper, okay. So we just need to keep going this way. And we'll eventually get to where we need. There's more iron, I remember. But now that's how we needed to take the other ones down. Things would have ended up so much better if that's how it had gone down the other times. the one we're going to. Watch out for extra enemies. I know there's some uh, dragon things up there. I don't want to just fight everything. I just want to fight what I have to. Okay, I'll fight you guys. all of them like that you know all the running guys like that yeah we'd be great but barrel nuts I always forget that we have a flashlight because it's like there's no real reason for us to use it right okay there it is there's the coal I should have probably looked to make sure we had the materials for a miner. Because we don't. Do you have the materials to make an equipment workshop, then to make a portable miner?
Come on. Please. Yeah. <laughs> We're not going to have all the materials we need for everything, but we have enough for that. That's kind of fun. We can at least place the miner down. We may not be able to power it or nothing, but we can place the miner down. Alright, that'll give us... We now have four of those. That'll give us enough for... Um, what we need uh, to, for that research to turn it into biomass. Okay. Miner. Oh, you know what? We've got... The equipment workshop, right? We can build... Build one of those. Let's make a beacon so that we can mark this. Coal. Heh. <laughs> nice. So we've got the that thing down. Okay. So we need a water body. We need to... There's no real water scanning on, um, ability. Yeah, that's not water. See, this is the edge of the map. Um or the pocket dimension, I'm assuming. If we can get some water from somewhere, it'd be great, but... I don't have it. Kill you easy. Alright. Oh, it's these guys. These are kind of fun. What? I thought for sure they were going to have to come out. Summer Sloop, work in progress. This is a cool ass from back in. Yeah, you know, it used to have. I don't know what that thing does, but strange alien thing with a mind bending and somehow familiar shape. Work in progress. Analyzing this will not give you anything. <laughs> so yeah, that's funny. But okay. Yeah, that's the thing ever, all of us drew back in elementary school and stuff was the summer sloop. It's called or whatever. The cool S and you connected them with diagonals and it, you know. Anyway, what we need is some water. So we're gonna see if we can't find some. First, let us eat. Um, we'll eat the berries first since we have less of those. I guess if we really look for it, food is all around us. Okay, so I don't want to go too far to get this water. Because we're going to have to pipe it back to wherever we have the power source at. So it's like... The best situation would be to have it like right here next to the coal, but it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. It doesn't look like, and I don't, you know, I don't remember seeing any bodies of water earlier either. Power slug over there, that's kind of cool. 
but yeah. I don't remember us having seen any water at all this whole time. So that's going to be an issue, I guess. Invalidating location, yeah. We can't afford it anyway, but... Can we afford to build our little, um... About to fall off the edge. Uh, biomass burner out here. Coal generator. It burns coal to boil water to produce steam, rotates turbines to generate electricity for the power grid. So yeah, we can't use this until we get water but we can I suppose hmm yeah cause you can't put coal in the biomass generator cause it's not biomass um biomass burner I mean once we can get this thing running which is all dependent upon water because we get this thing running, we're going to put it in a storage crate, and we're also going to separate it out into the generator so we can split it up and have extra coal, but also have coal on deck, you know. So the biggest thing we just got to find now is water. Once we find water, we're set. But if we can't find water... We're done for. Sulfur. We haven't gotten any of this. The data shows a mix of sulfide and sulfate materials. Data shows this as a mix of ah, sulfide and sulfate materials. Spider. It could be an indication of recent volcanic activity. Whoa. Where are y'all coming from? Or are y'all on the ceiling? Please don't tell me y'all are just on the ceiling. Oh, there's the last piece of food thing we needed to find. Which means we should try and harvest as much of those. You know what? If we had this thing, we haven't used it whatsoever. Oh no. What's that? What hurt, what just hurt us? I don't see anything. I'm so confused. And I get I the music seems to be cutting in and out for me. I don't I'm not sure if it's doing the same for you because my my OBS is still reading. This won't give us, I mean, this will give us biomass, but at the same time, you know, I don't know um, the research, how far it goes. Okay. That thing, we need one of them. Limestone? I don't need limestone. Where's the spider that is stalking us? There you are. Just more spiders down here? Nothing? can't go into that until we get the gas mask but there's probably something down there a resource or something of some kind of value in which the gas mask is unlocked later on so we're not really close enough to get to it 
I like how I'm taking all the guys out, but at the same time, it's kind of tough. Green power slug. We're going to take it. Upgrade our uh, base if we can. We'll pick this up in case, because we're just starting the research tree on it, so we may as well take it with us, you know. We gotta find water. I know we're going this way, which there's probably not gonna be anything this way, but yeah, so let's go back. Since we're on the edge of the cliff, there's probably not gonna be any water anywhere here. And we're gonna need to go further inland, I think, to find some. just the problem is, is, you know, piping it all the way back here to the, um, cold gen, because either we transport the coal further away from the plot with the, um, whatchamacallit, with conveyors, or we pipe the water down there with the pipes. That's the only two options we have. And, um, because that'll, and we're going to have to use it to send, um, so I'm fairly sure they want you to use a jetpack to get this thing, but I'm just going to grab it with my hands because I can climb. Is that water? No. It's ore. Just like this. Iron ore. We don't need it right now. What we need is water, and there's none around here. You'd think it'd be m more common, right? That we'd be able to find, like, uh... Who knows, uh ocean or something or a lake you know that's just the hub in the space elevator we're going we're over 500 meters away by now really I wish it would tell us how far away those things the beacons are but we gotta find the water so we're kind of stuck with continuing to go this way until we find some Oh, there is some down here in there. Or not here. I remember there was one area by the hub that we went that we saw some. But you know, I don't wanna it was over by the copper, I remember, but that's a long way to pipe the stinking um yeah, here's the copper. It's a long way to pipe the water though. We gotta go that way. It should be over 500 meters of pipe, you know, which I don't mind. I'm sh we, if we pipe it, we pipe it, you know. We take it all the way over there. It's probably faster to pipe water over there than it is to use a conveyor to get coal back over here. But. At the same time, it's just, that's a huge hassle. I'm just going to grab this power slug because I see it. I may as well. Usually these things are guarded, but in the past three we've gotten, I haven't seen a guard of any kind. So, I'm curious as to why. Okay, there was, uh, was it desert or was it water? I thought it was water over here in this big crevasse. <gasps> okay. Well, not what I meant to do. But, um, alright then. I remember it led down like this. This is where I'm talking about. 